What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the WWE Basic Series 70 Carmella. Now here we do have Carmella in the packaging. You can see she is just fabulous uh, and that's a play on her entrance theme and what she says. We do have Carmella in the packaging. A really beautiful image of Carmella right here. This is her first time in the line. Other figures of this series include The Rock, The Warrior, or the Ultimate Warrior, Roman Reigns, Modern Day Ric Flair, Apollo Crews, Samoa Joe, a reissue of Brie Bella, and of course Carmella. So really excited I found this girl in stores, so what I'm going to do now is take a little break, get a posing out of the packaging, and then we'll go on to the rest of her review. So sit tight everyone. So here we have Carmella posing out of the packaging. Before we get on to the figure, let's have a nice 360 of her. I gotta say this, really, really surprised I found her. I went into Walmart right after work and just looked through the toy aisle and they were putting out a new case and I completely forgot Carmella was in this wave and if I didn't double take at the figures in the shelves, I probably would have missed this figure, but overall I'm really glad I found her. So let's actually talk about a few things really fast. She seems relatively tall for a diva figure. I just can't put words to it. She seems tall. I know Carmella is a lankier female, but I don't know if she's actually this tall or not, but then when you compare her to another diva figure, she's actually about the right height. So, I don't know what it is. It, it's like her thighs, and her thighs are probably skinnier. That's what it's looking like to me. So, I think it's just the way her thighs are that makes her seem taller than what she is. Like I said, I can't put my finger on it, but she does seem relatively tall. But anyway, let's actually move on to the figure. I'm going to say this is actually one figure that they did a good job on from some angles. It's not perfect. Uh, like from a straight on angle, it kind of loses the appeal, but from a side angle, you can tell it's Carmella. The hair, um, a little to be desired. It, it's a little too blonde for my liking. Um, I don't think it's supposed to be this blonde. Uh, I, I guess it is, but like I said, it's just something about it that I don't know if her hair is supposed to be this color. But you can see she is wearing her fabulous top. It is white with red accents. And then you can see the leopard print right there. Her trunks do say fabulous all the way around. And it's pretty well done. I really can't see too many errors in it. Maybe this side start is a little weird. But most of it is done fairly well. And then she also has these same shins that we've seen with Nikki and Paige where they have the socks sculpted on. Really cool. I do like that. And then we also do get her with her Jordans or whatever it is she's wearing. I think Shane O'Mac wears the Jordans, not Carmella. But you can see they are leopard spotted. Just like her top right here, so that's pretty cool. She doesn't come with any accessories because she is a basic figure, so getting her Getting her, you know what you're expecting. There's no accessories with basic figures, so let's actually get the camera pose. So we can go on to her articulation. She does have the standard diva articulation. Uh, she really can't use that ball joint on her head because there's just not enough give side to side or up and down, but she does have a ball joint. She can turn her head left and right, and it's really not that bad, especially since her hair is a softer plastic. Arms on a ball joint go out to about that far. Do a full 360. Not at all hindered by the hair. It does. Her arm does push the hair out of the way. She spins at the bicep. Single joint at the elbow. Spins at the wrist. We do have a mid-torso joint which allows some side-to-side, -side, back and forth play. So that's really good. Waist swivel, which I actually dread on Devo figures. The swivel should actually be up here. Keep this one continuous sculpt. Although that's just the way I would make a diva figure. Legs on a ball hinge or ball joint, they go back, forward, and out to about that far. 
swivels at the thigh, single jointed in the knee. She does spin right here at the sock, not at the boot, but a little above it. And she has a hinge in the ankle. So overall, really nice figure. If you collect the divas or basic figures, you essentially know what you're getting. But with that being said, guys, I'm going to move on to my final thoughts and then we'll wrap up this review. So sit tight, everyone. So here we have Carmella posed for my final thoughts overall. I really do like this figure. Uh, not the attire I would have gone with. I probably would prefer more of her valet attire. You know, maybe wearing some jeans or, you know, just something that, I don't know. It's really hard to say what I would have pictured Carmella wearing as a figure, but as it stands, I really do like the way she came out. I do like the fabulous print on her shirt, as well as right here on her tights. Now, I found this figure at Walmart. I was just going through after work, seeing what figures were there. They were putting out a fresh case of both the basic series and elites, and I just had to wait and see what they put out. Like I said, I almost missed Carmella because I completely forgot she was in the wave, but thankfully I double-taked after getting the Ascension and picked bo both the Ascension and Carmella up. But overall, I do like this figure. I do recommend her, especially if you're collecting the NXT series or if you're just a fan of Carmella. This is the first figure we have of her, so it's a welcomed addition to our collection. With that being said, guys, don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, tell me what you think of Carmella. Do you think she's worth it? Do you think she could have been an elite figure? Maybe, I don't know, it's up to you. Also, don't forget to check out my other action figure reviews. All my WWE videos are also up, so go ahead and check those out. And while you're at it, if there's a figure you would like to see me review, go ahead and let me know down in the comments. And if it fits in my collection, I will definitely have a look at it. And until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone. My